antibiotic resistance has been called the greatest threat to human health in the 21st century by scientists. Public Health England say the problem is primarily down to drugs being overprescribed, meaning they become less effective at fighting dangerous bacteria. Now a team of researchers believe there may be hope in the form of honey. Tim Muffet reports. I was, I was gravely ill. Gravely ill. When Debbie contracted a urinary tract infection, she assumed antibiotics would take care of it. But things went downhill fast. I developed sepsis. So your body sort of goes into overdrive and it attacks itself. They started pumping antibiotics into me. And then as each day passed, they found that that antibiotic wasn't working. Uh, I was deteriorating day on day. Why weren't these antibiotics working? They found out that I had antimicrobial resistance. It's becoming more and more common, which is what the alarming thing is and why we have to do something. Antimicrobial resistance happens when microorganisms such as these bacteria evolve and drugs such as antibiotics can no longer kill them. Antimicrobial resistance is predicted to kill more people than cancer by 2050 um, and if we get to a stage where we have no working antibiotics it would essentially mean the end of modern medicine. The research really started with a curious question around why can bacteria not survive in, in a beehive? And one of the main reasons for that is the natural antimicrobial properties of honey. Honey has been used as a treatment for infection for centuries. It contains natural antibiotics which can kill bacteria. The problem is it's sticky, which means it's very difficult to use in surgery or on a wound. We're taking it from something that's thick and sticky and turning it into sprays, creams and, and powders that can be easily applied uh, to lots of different parts of the body. Honey-based medical gel has already been developed. The team here want to take that idea further. And this is our simulated wound. It's killing the, the bacteria. Here we have our emulsion that's got the, the droplets of the honey. And this could be used preventatively as well, so before a surgeon makes an incision. Would that work potentially as well as a, an antibiotic prescribed by a doctor? Yep, so this is an alternative to using uh, an antibiotic. And what's really uh, promising about this honey is that it's already been shown to kill bacteria that are resistant to conventional antibiotics, such as uh, the superbug MRSA. The sixth antibiotic doctors tried on Debbie did work, but she very nearly died and welcomes a different approach to fighting infection. Part of the double-edged sword of being a survivor is the fact that so many people don't make it. We have to support research so that we we'll find other methods of treating infections. It's hoped that if funding is found, these products will be brought to medical trial in the next few years. Tim Muffet, BBC News. We're talking about the power of adrenaline and now the power of honey. The thing is, honey's been around for an awful long time, yeah. isn't it? We've, we've, you know, people have been using it for years yes. and years. And now... <gasps> Brilliant. What? what was that? I was doing... <laughs> I was... Because I was reading about, um, in, like, a war zone, you could find some sort of honey... If you could get a honey spray to sort of cover a wound... Then and it, that then... could keep it going for a while, while you then get treatment later on. Excellent.